Hello, I'm John O'Connor. I'm Chair of the National Council for the Science and Engineering Challenge. The Challenge has been running for over 20 years now. It's engaged with hundreds of thousands of students and it has, from the very start, had a key goal in changing the misconceptions that students have about science and engineering. So I'm Sean Gilboli and I'm an aerospace engineer at Boeing working on the Wedgetail. My STEM journey began in high school when I did the Science and Engineering Challenge myself, which was a fantastic time. And then I continued on into uni to do aerospace and mechatronics engineering over seven years. During that time, I also worked as an event assistant with the Science and Engineering Challenge. Now I've come full circle and now I'm volunteering as a Boeing representative helping out the activities. So it's really good to see how these kids are building up their critical thinking, problem solving skills for future employability, because that's the youth of the future, you know, they'll be the decision makers in the future. It's good to see them have those skills and have that interest today. The challenge involves a competition of eight schools, sending teams in and participating in a similar fashion to an inter-school sports carnival. Then the winners go on to a state level and the winners of the state level go on to a national level. And we have positive statistics that show that impacts on their decisions to do physics, chemistry and mathematics in year 11 and 12, which keeps their options open for university. I think it's really important for industry partners to get involved with the Science and Engineering Challenge because it's a lot more relatable to the students. They can actually see people who are currently working in the industry and aspire to be that. It's something they actually see instead of something they read about. So it actually ends up being a future investment in industry by getting involved because they get more engineers as a result of them being interested in doing engineering or STEM activities as a result of the Science and Engineering Challenge. A few years ago, I was at a challenge in uh, Campbelltown and I found this young man being a supervisor. And I thanked him for being there and asked him how come he was there. He said, it's very simple. When I was at high school, I didn't know what my career was going to be. I went to a challenge and I've just graduated. There's an engineer. And I came back to say thank you. For companies, this is your future candidate pool, you know? You gotta start them early. You, you don't want them to join a company and then you spend money on upskilling them, training them towards a particular task. You want the kids to have those skills before they join a company so they can select the company. It's not, because it goes both way, right? It's not just the company employing the person, it's the person selecting the employer as well. If you're a Rotarian, member of a Rotary Club, and you're thinking about running a challenge, do it, please, we need you. Your support of the challenge means that that money will go towards students who will become future university students and they'll be ready as potential employees for the future. So it is in your interest as much as it is in the students.